Carrie is looking for a second date update with uh, a man named Jacob. Hi, Carrie. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you all? We all doing good. Fantastic. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. You want to tell us about Jacob and how the first date went? We'll go from there. Sure. Yeah. Um, so Jacob is someone I met on Tinder. And uh, we enjoyed chatting on there. It seemed like we might be a good fit. So we decided that we would meet up for drinks. Okay. So we went to a bar and it was really short. I ended up having to leave. So we only hung out for like 15 minutes. Oh, how come? Um, it's kind of a, it, it's a long story. It doesn't really matter, honestly. It's See, just immediately that. I think you're blowing me off now. No, no, no. It wasn't like that at all. And I thought I made that clear to him. Okay. And I texted him later that night and he seemed cool. I also gave him like a really big goodbye hug and he hugged me back. And it was like a, you know, it was like a good hug. Alicia left him with a hug. That's that was something. Nice. Yeah. I mean, 15 minutes is, isn't long enough for a kiss. But yeah, I felt like it was nice. We had a good connection. I felt something. But then I never heard back from him. Yeah, well, he probably thinks you're not into him because, you know, you took off. Well, yeah. I, I mean, know, 15 minutes is hardly that. a date. Yeah. I don't know. You know, and then give him a mercy hug. Oh, you're sweet. No, but <laughs> you're so right. Seriously, uh, you know, my grandmother's dying. So. Oh, hi. Uh... <laughs> what did you talk about in that 15 minutes before whatever happened happened? Um, kind of like what our days were, and we bonded a little bit over like our drinks because we both ordered whiskey. So that was nice that we were kind of on the same page there. Uh, there's a lot of joking and sort of like, uh, you know, riffing off of each other. That kind of thing where the banter just feels really good. Yeah. You know, sort of making each fun of each other in a fun way. Okay. Yeah. You know, we didn't get into any deep conversations because not a huge amount of time. Hmm. But I felt like we really clicked. Okay. I guess that's pretty good for 15 minutes. But do you think he got that? Do you think he knew that? I thought so. Yeah. Like, I thought he got it. I thought, I thought he felt something back and especially because he did text me back later and like the feeling of the hug and all that stuff but i don't know i feel like i i also feel like like yeah i had to leave but it wasn't enough time for me to have done anything obnoxious or terrible true <laughs> <laughs> good point okay so guess, you want you want another shot you want to take two Yes, I would like to take two. Normally, yeah. we would call this a second date, but it sounds like you kind of want a do-over. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, anything else you think we need to know before we call him up and see uh, if he's open? No, I'm sure he'll tell you. Okie doke. And why don't we take a break? When we come back, we'll call Jacob and uh, see if he's willing to go out with Carrie again and what he thought of Carrie and the 15 minutes they did have together coming up as we continue. Second date update, Cincinnati's Q102. All right, Carrie met Jacob on Tinder, and after some back and forth, some talking, they decided, hey, mm -hmm. let's go out, meet up at a bar, have some drinks. And uh, the, the date was great it, for all 15 minutes that it lasted. <laughs> I imagine there are a lot of 15-minute dates out there. You know, people just kind of pop in for a coffee, say hi, and go. But Carrie had to leave for, I'm sorry, why did you say you had to leave? It, it's such a long story. There's so much backstory to it that doesn't really matter. I don't need to bore you with the details. But, like, the important thing is it had nothing to do with him. It was I really wasn't blowing him off. Okay, but did he know that? Because, I mean, if somebody was blowing me off after 15, uh, all right, maybe not blowing me off. But if somebody had to bail 15 minutes into the date, I, I might mean, I, I take that as you're just not that into me. No, no, no. I made clear it wasn't him. I made sure or I gave him a really big hug. So uh, that's nice. Did you tell him you wanted to see him again? Yeah, I did. Okay. So you think he bought that? I thought so. Okay. But, you know, now who knows? Because I'm not that surprised he's not calling you back. He may feel like he was being blown off. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. But now he's blowing me off. So, yeah, I guess we're even, if nothing else. Yeah, but the 15 minutes you had with him, you said was great, right? Yeah, I thought so. I really definitely felt something. Okay. So, Carrie would like an opportunity to have a, a take two that lasts longer than 15 minutes. Is that right, Carrie? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Let's call Jacob and see if we can make that happen. Hello. 
Hi, is this Jacob? Yeah, this is he. Hi, Jacob. It's Jeff and Jen at Q102. How are you this morning? Really? Yes, sir. How Hello. are you? We're all here. Hi. Good morning. Hi. We're here, too. Hi. That's it. Hi. You got a few oh, minutes? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I, uh, uh, I know what's going on. You know what's going on? I have a hunch. We like to look at this as clearing up a misunderstanding. <laughs> okay, go for it. So we talked to Carrie, who you had a 15-minute <laughs> date with. She really called you for like a, sec- a second date update? She did. She told us that your date was very yeah. short-lived. She didn't really go into detail, but evidently, you know, she'd like to go out with you again. But uh, you, you haven't been very responsive, and we, <laughs> we didn't know if maybe it had anything to do with the fact that it ended a little abruptly. Maybe you're feeling a little um, blown off. Well, we, we never even had a first date. <laughs> so you didn't even count oh, that as a date? Um, well... Usually when you go out on a date with somebody or you make plans with somebody, they make plans with you and, you you know, you go out with them. But I showed up at the bar and I got to talk to her for like five minutes and then this other guy showed up. What? Apparently she like, she's like double booking dates. She gave me some story about how she's been stood up too many times. So now she's like double booking dates and this was like, at the same like, place? Well, oh, that's a was, bad idea. No way. She, was, she, was, she acted surprised like, she's like, oh, well, this never happened. This hasn't happened before. Like, she, oh. she double booked a date, but then she's like, the, there's always somebody that doesn't show up, and that's why she does it. And I was like, you didn't flake out, though. You showed up. <laughs> what? I mean, I showed up, and this other guy showed up, and then she did seem kind of stunned, and I, I, I kind of felt bad for her, but also not really because... Who does that? And then, and then she like has us flip a coin to see who gets to win her date. Oh, shut oh. No, she didn't. <laughs> what, she did that in front of you? Like for real, she flipped a coin? <laughs> so what, what did she make one of you call it? <laughs> yep, yep. And I, I, I got to, well, I didn't get tails. That's for oh, sure. Oh, hell no. Oh, that's funny. You didn't get tails. So, huh? so she didn't leave the date. You had to like leave. You had because to surrender. Because you lost the coin toss. <laughs> so like she didn't leave toss. the building. You were like forced to then leave or sit next to this other date. Holy moly. I, I, yeah. I was the kicking team. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. So did you like size up the other guy? Like, how would you say I you mean, and the I other guy were different? I, well, I didn't even know her enough to want to size up this guy. It was really just the way that I was looking at her from that point because th- this guy obviously didn't know either. Oh, I right. didn't. Yeah. And and so I felt I felt bad about that and I was just kind of done with the situation anyways after after it all kind of unfolded. And then and then she texted me after her date with the other guy and said that she wishes I had won the coin toss and it's like what? Oh Harry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, How I many of these have you gotten away with? Way I feel like a jerk, but I didn't. <laughs> Can I explain? Please. So with Tinder and OkCupid and all those, I went on seven dates in a row. I got myself ready. I made plans and I got stood up seven times in a row. Is that common? Like, do you get that. stood up a lot when you agree to meet someone on one of the one of these dating platforms? I would say, yeah. Getting I mean, stood, you get up. stood up. Yeah. For sure. Does that happen more often than mm-hmm. not? It happens well, more I've often. I've never than done it. And so I just started booking two because then I don't have to like spend money on an Uber to get to a place where nobody's there and feel super embarrassed. And I've been on a few dates, and every time there's only been one person who showed up. One time, neither one showed up. So. I was like, okay, this is a system that's okay. I'll get to meet more people this way. And I obviously, like, I've learned my lesson. I won't double book again, but that's why I was doing it. <laughs> hmm. And then the coin toss was because I, I didn't want to just automatically be like, well, clearly I'm more attracted to Jacob. You know, I didn't want to be a dick. So I was like, let's make it random, and then I'll meet with the other person later. I, I felt like I apologized a lot for it. And I, I thought texting him later and, like, reassuring him, like, hey, I wish it had been you was a good thing but i guess you know hearing him tell the story it certainly didn't sound I like think, 
felt I think somebody's <laughs> watched The Bachelorette too many times. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, you know, why, like it's like who, who, who gets, why do you get to decide that like just go to a bar if Sammy doesn't show up just hang out at the bar it's fine like if you're going to a place that you'd hang out at who cares if you're there alone because you didn't you really do- have a backup plan in case two people did show up did you well it's because she no, didn't, I like, didn't and I should have <laughs> I should have had a better plan. God. <laughs> well, I like, should have done self. A coin toss is kind of clever. But I yet, feel like. You could have had him arm wrestle. Or I feel rock, like, paper, how scissors. did you How did you not know that this is maybe why he wasn't calling you back? I mean, that's kind of a. If, some, if this happened to you on a date, would you not feel totally dissed and like super pissed? Well, I think because I've been through the online dating thing, I wouldn't because I'd be like, oh my God, dude, I get it. If a guy did this to a woman, no she way. never talked to yeah. him again. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, I Jeff. No, I like, absolutely What are you going to be like a, a bride? You're going to have two weddings? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go, here's In my In case here's one groom two, doesn't show. You're just going to have two here's, grooms here's lined up. Oh, God. God. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> That'll be the next twist on The Bachelorette. <laughs> it's different with the first date. You don't know if somebody's going to show up. I would never do that with like a second date where I already have a connection with the what? person. Oh, yeah, because you have ethics. Oh, oh so wow. Funny. So how did that date go, Carrie? I, I didn't feel like we had a connection. That's like why I she said, I was being guy. honest when I said I wish that Jacob had won the well, coin toss. I mean, now obviously he's not hearing me out and being kind of like a jerk. But oh yeah, I'm I a jerk. That's I just, You're I the one that called me. I'm not being a jerk to anybody. Why do you think you you didn't have a fun time with that guy? Because he was feeling awkward and bad too. How is he supposed to have fun after that happens? Now he's texted me like six times, so he had a good time. I just wasn't attracted to him. Oh, he had a good time. Oh. Okay. Well, listen, Carrie, if I thought we could convince Jacob to give you a shot at a second date, I'm not all that confident you wouldn't double book that. I know. I'm nervous about her going out with him just in general because I just feel like it's such a diss. She orders two drinks just in case one of them doesn't come. It's just a pattern in her life. (laughs) I said I was sorry. I said I made a mistake. I I don't know how else I can make amends. Yeah, yeah. I, I obvi- yeah, I'm, I have admitted to it. I have said this was. You have admitted to it. it. I won't do it again. Well, there's no question you made a mistake, but it wouldn't have been a fatal mistake. If we knew this going in, Carrie, we could have represented you so much better to Jacob had there been transparency from the get go. How did you not think this was going to come up when we called him? I think that's oh, why she didn't, I didn't tell, she didn't didn't tell you. She didn't tell you. Other guy would. No, I asked her about it and she sidestepped the question. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this, Carrie. <laughs> We just heard your whole story, and let's say that there was a part of you that maybe wanted these two to... Did you want them both? Did you set it up this way with the intention that, oh, I'm going to go on a date with two guys, and we're going to have this fun evening, all three? Oh. No. No. No, not even a little bit. If I had done that, then I would have said, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to overbook myself. Why don't we all get to know each other? I wouldn't have, like, done a coin toss. Okay. I don't know. I think it's an absolutely hilarious story to tell the grandkids. Yeah. You know, originally I lost the coin cost, but she didn't give up on me. She wanted me bad. <laughs> All right. Well, Jacob, look, if, if you would like to uh, give Carrie a second chance and uh, hopefully have a laugh about it at some point, we'd be happy to pay for the date uh, as long as Carrie promises not to double book. Mm-hmm. Uh, totally up to you. <laughs> I'm always... Always looking behind her. I don't want to always be looking behind her, waiting for somebody else to show up. It's just too, right now, it's just too traumatic for me. Traumatic. Oh, I think now we're being a bit dramatic. (laughs) (laughs) This is where we draw the line. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Well, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, But thank you for taking the call, Jacob. We do appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, nice to talk to you guys. All right. Carrie, I totally understand. You've been stood up seven times. It can get frustrating. It's tough out there. But yeah. this is where transparency can save you in situations like this. Mm-hmm. I messed up worse than I thought I did. I get it. It's all right. Learning experience. <laughs> yep. guess so. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Hey, good luck to good you Good luck, both. guys. Thanks. Okay. All right. If you need our help with a second date update, just send us an email, Jeff and Jen, at WKRQ.com. All right. Coming up, one of my uh, favorite things that we do every day, the 1K letter of the day (laughs) is coming up next. Thanks for listening. 
to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy.